Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Montana TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy Gun on here. Today we're looking at Mars, but we're looking at different areas of Mars. We're not in Gale Crater. We are looking at other parts. And I, I think this is near the South Polar region. Uh, now, this is a cool website, this. This is the Mars Odyssey Themis. Or, now, Themis, I think, means thermal imaging system or something. Uh, it's, a, it's a shortened version of that. And basically, these are really good satellite images of Mars uh, and this was launched in 2001 I think and uh, it's been sending back consistently good photos of Mars they're not amazing quality like the high-rise or, or the MRO they're not amazingly high resolution but they're pretty good and they're easily downloadable that they usually come about the sort of 11 megabytes or about 2 megabytes depending on which file type you choose okay that's up to you but this is a great page and well worth looking through these because there's some awesome structures in, in these areas. And some of them are in false colour, okay, and the majority of them are in black and white. The black and white ones are actually better, I think, uh, on the whole. Um, and the ones I was looking at were these two here and there's another one on the next page. I will have links to all these as usual, okay. This is the main one, Augustus Labyrinth, okay. and straight away you can see here what look like some very interesting structures in the ground or on the ground these ridges now the official explanation for these is that they are caused by tectonic plate activity in, in other words uh, the earth's crust is kind of cracked apart and stuff like that well maybe maybe not they certainly look very odd and there's also this image here which is also the same area just next to that same sort of structures and there's also this one which has some very rectilinear looking structures now if these were seen from further away they would look like intelligent structures but when you zoom in they're not really square and they're not really rectangular rectangular they kind of are but they're not um, but they may well be intelligent uh, at least partly that's a matter of opinion I, I, I may be wrong I don't know we'll see but uh, another pl another place to get these images is uh, photojournal.jpl.nasa.gov slash new there'll be a link to this as well and you can get all the Mars Odyssey latest pictures as they come down this is where I go every day and you also get Cassini Huygens you get the Dawn mission you get all sorts you get the Mars rover stuff some of it and uh, it's great I mean, you get all sorts of stuff here really good page so that's well worth keeping and, and bookmarking um, so let's crack on with it. Let's have a look at these images. I've got a few close-ups here. I haven't done tons because I will put more in at the end of the video as usual. But first of all, I'll show you the raw image. Now this was my favourite one. Uh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Right. Look at this. You've got what looked like straight rectilinear and square kind of structures. But, in between them, you have what look like plants or trees dotted around all over the place, like this, okay? Now, I'm going to show you an enhancement of that, where I've taken a, a clip of the image and a close-up, and I've just enhanced the contrast and colour temperature. And you can see quite clearly that these are very, very, some of them very straight structures, like this one here and this one here. Some of them are kind of not so straight. But could these be actually some kind of salt mine? Could they be uh, like you would see in Turkey or North Africa where when you go on holiday there, if, if you ever have, like I have, um, you, you go to visit these various sites and we went to go and see a salt mine there. And you have these large salt flats and they're generally in sort of large square or rectangular shapes. Uh, but not perfectly square and not perfectly rectangular. They're usually sort of fairly rough, just roughly square or roughly rectangular. And what they do is they let the seawater in and then they dam the areas off and then uh, let the water dry out and leave the salt behind. Now, could this be an old salt mine that still has some moisture left here, which is why these plants or bushes or trees or whatever they are are growing here and they seem to be growing in patterns in between these 
areas and with these walls or whatever you want to call these barriers or I mean it's extraordinary are these trees are they bushes let's look at the whole image here okay now this does kind of look like intelligent structures to me but it may not be of course but even if it's not even if these are not man-made or, or alien or Martian made structures like some kind of salt farm or, or a salt mine um, they look very very interesting and this one here is particularly straight and and the plants seem to be congregating there's a row of them here see these things the row there and there's more up here they get a bit thinner as they this is near the south polar region of, of Mars which is very cold but is probably in the melt zone now of course in the summer large parts of the uh, ice in both the, the south and the north uh, ice caps melt and there would be liquid water on the surface so these may well be actually plants of some sort I don't think they're trees because I I would expect them to look taller and there to be shadows coming off them I think these are actually plants on the ground patches of organic growth okay it actually looks better um, I think this one here there's a, a different close-up okay this has been enlarged and uh, had the uh, contrast change awesome stuff I was blown away when I saw this last night absolutely blown away so I'll put more clips in at the end I'll also put some comparative images in which one uh, let me show you this one this one doesn't have uh, what look like many plants in it but it does have these very straight structures here how cool are they it's absolutely insane absolutely insane this is the first one I saw and then I, I looked for more similar and then found this one which I think is just unbelievable look at it what the hell is going on here so yeah that says on the postcard as usual people um, I could be wrong here these may not be plants at all these may, may be scars left behind by carbon dioxide or something that, that's the usual uh, NASA explanation for this kind of thing but this is in the polar melt zone so it is possible that this is plant material and yes there is high carbon dioxide in Mars but plants do like carbon dioxide what they do need though is water we do know there is water there and perhaps these structures collect water because of the shape they are uh, water may condense on the higher parts of these here and then run down into the lower parts like we have here okay um, when you go to some places in Spain or, or you go to uh, the Canary Islands they, they, they have an extremely dry environment there but what they do is they dig pits large pits and they're about sort of six or seven foot deep and uh, what they do is they plant grapes in there uh, and it, the water collects on the rocks and then runs down into the center of the pit where the where the plant is or where the or where the grapevines are and basically then you, you've got moisture because the, the, the ground is very very dry and rocky very much like Mars actually because uh, um, it's, it's volcanic and uh, high in sulfur and uh, it makes extremely good uh, grapes but uh, not, not much good for anything else um, so yes basically these may be artificial structures that are designed to collect water and maybe still are and have fallen into disuse and covered in, in, in sand and and uh, perhaps even snow at some point we don't know being a black and white image of course we don't know what color this really is um, is it sand or is it is it snow I'm guessing it's probably sand but um, there's no way to tell of course so there we go I mean these, these are absolutely insane uh, let's have a look at this one again this one was cool so they're collecting between these areas which may be lower lying so the moisture may be congregating there and collecting so that these things can then grow okay very cool indeed I've got another interesting one here uh, which I'll show you very quickly because there are some very odd dunes in this area as well this was really odd you got this long area of dunes going right across here and they, they look like steps but they're perfectly natural of course but they're really cool and uh, there is also uh, another image here somewhere there he is of some very weird looking dunes black dunes okay 
Look at these. How strange are these? Uh, but those are placed in the Ardunes. They've got kind of smear marks where some of them, some of the material has been blown across from right to left here. Okay, so they look kind of smudged. But they were cool. I just thought they looked really abstract and almost like a work of art. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Answers on the postcard as usual. Do you think these are trees? Do you think they are bushes? Do you think they are dunes? Do you think they are something else? Uh, to me, they look like organic material growth of some sort. And it it is quite possible that there are many, many plants on, on Mars because they don't need oxygen. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.